the integrity of sound is the most important element in the studio. Uh, no matter what you're doing, uh, you want things to be top-notch quality. You want them to stay, even when you're mixing, you want them to stay the same way you envisioned them when you were tracking them. That's why I still use a lot of analog gear. Uh, there is no substitute for it. My name is Rafa Sardina. I work on a big variety of styles of music, um, from pop to rock to big band to orchestral recordings, even classical, and, and even movies, scoring for movies. So I'm pretty eclectic in the styles of music I, I work on. First I found out about Focusrite because I work in a studio that actually had one of the Focusrite console, one of the very few in existence. So I had quite a lot of experience working on on that board. Um, it was the one installed at the Ocean Way. And after, afterwards I actually worked on other ones around the, around the world. I was very lucky, fortunate to, to work in these studios that have them. Um, and I continue being a fan after that. Obviously I couldn't afford a whole, you know, old Focusrite, you know, a, big console uh, but I started acquiring a few a few pieces like ISAs 110s and the and 215s and the, the ones that were modular rack mounted ones and lately I got the ISA 828 and it has become one of my main pieces uh, not only in the studio but when I travel because one of the things that are so peculiar about that box is that it's not just that it sounds great but the fact that it's, it is so flexible. One of the things about this box that really appealed to me, was an extra for me, was the fact of having so many inputs. You can have eight mic inputs, eight line inputs, and you can also have four instrument inputs. It's like a chameleon. You can really switch between, you know, depending on what you are overdubbing, if you are doing some keyboards or you are doing recording a bass track or you are just recording some microphones, you can switch between the different settings and, you know, mark your uh, your levels, you know, your mic levels and all that and, and switch between just with a single box. Another amazing feature of the box is the imp impedance selection, which actually gives you a really, really big, broad style of sound, you know, it, depending on how it matches to a specific microphones. And it really opens a microphone, or it can actually even make a microphone sound duller than it really is. And maybe that's what you are looking for. That's why I'm saying what I mentioned before about the, the whole broadness of sounds that you can get through it. And it is a creative element. It's not just a technical element. Uh, once you start experimenting with it and and achieving different results from it, from the same microphones that you have, that's when you realize that it becomes a creative uh, element that you that you can use in recording. <laughs>